What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to TWR. My name is Tavian. This is my world of reptiles, and I hope you are all doing awesome and taking care of yourselves. Uh, so in our last video, I talked about invasive species. If you have not checked out that video, please go and check it out. I will go ahead and try to put the card thingy up here or a link in the description or whatever. Uh, but please go check out that video. Um, and now I talked a little bit about, you know, just kind of, you know, what we as human beings should do when we come across invasive species that come through, whether that's on fruit or, or plants or whatever the case may be. And so while all that information was very important, and I think it's important for people to know about that and get that information out there so people know what to better do, that was not the sole reason for me talking about that subject. I do have another reason for that, and that is... This little fella right here. This is one of those examples of a hitchhiker that came through uh, from its uh, native lands, which is Cuba and the Cayman Islands, as well as the Bahamas, which is where these naturally actually supposed to be really reside in. But they are an invasive species, these uh, Cuban uh, green tree frogs here. Uh, they do they look very similar to some frogs that we have here in Oregon, except that ours are more green, and this is definitely very gray. Uh, definitely a little bit more brownish gray as well, but uh, yeah, these are definitely an invasive species, obviously found in lots of places, including our well-known Florida. Uh, but these guys just kind of catch a ride on, and this one in particular was actually found in a plant. So like a, uh, like I said, like a, they do come in on plants from different areas, and so uh, a lot of our, a couple of our plant trees apparently here in Oregon actually reported a couple of these guys showing up in some of the plants there. Um, and uh, the wild, oh, Oregon Department of uh, Fish and Wildlife folks definitely wanted people to know to like not let these go, these guys go. Now we're not really certain if they would actually survive our winter here, but we definitely don't want to find out uh, because they are definitely a, are, uh, they are on the list as an invasive species. They will get out. They will populate. If conditions are right, they will spread. So we found this little fella, or one of the, Trevor, the manager of the store, found this little fella in one of the plants that we got in one of our plant shipments. Um, and so it was hanging around the store, and I was just like, well, I mean, what are we going to do with it? Like, I mean, we don't really have a display closure set up for, like, you know, frogs in our store. And so I was just like, you know, it's, it's up for grabs, because, I mean, I'll take it home, <laughs> you know? So they let me take it home. And so I have it now, and I mean, I'm going to do my part to make sure this does not end up in the wild. It is going to stay in my care. Um, if you were to find an animal, you know, that would you know is invasive and you personally maybe didn't want to care for it, you know, you could always find somebody else who might be willing to care for it or look for an educational program or, you know, a school or something like that where they would be able to keep that animal and they would know that this was an inda invasive species and that it didn't need to be stay. It didn't need to stay, you know, you know, enclosed and definitely does not need to be released and it would be taken care of. So that's something you could personally do. I am personally, I'm interested in frogs these days. And so I'm deciding to go ahead and keep this fella. Uh, and so I have it currently in this spare enclosure here thing that I have set up. Let me go ahead and get this to focus. There it is. So I have this enclosure here. Uh, it was just one that I had sitting around, so it was kind of perfect timing to go ahead and take this frog, because I don't like having empty enclosures. It's a problem. Uh, but anyway, so now, okay, here's the problem. I originally got this, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go home. I'm going to set it all up. It's going to be great. But then I got home and realized I did not have any hydro balls or the mesh or any of the things necessary to do this. Let me just back up here a little bit so I'm like leaning back okay so I didn't have any of the things necessary to do this so I had to stall and wait for a little bit but I didn't want to just keep it in this little cup that I had it in so I did just kind of put the plants in here now the problem is I thought this tree was gonna be so awesome I thought it would be so awesome you know uh, as, as something for this tree frog to have in there unfortunately as you can see it does not fit like it barely fits I have it in there like lean sideways now um, um, but even if I wanted to keep it like that, once I put the hydro balls and the substrate in there, it's just only going to get higher up and it's really not going to fit. So it's just going to have to go, unfortunately. But I do have this beautiful plant here. I really like it. It's got like these green leaves with just like this silver marking. Like, mm, really love this plant. Really love this plant. So I'm going to put that in there and incorporate that in there somehow. I also, let's see, I also got a couple pieces of cork here that I'm going to just try to figure out, see what we can do on putting those in there, just kind of make it as just 
make those look like a tree since I don't actually have a tree to put in there now. So I'll make that work. Um, I also just got a lot of like some moss. And I've noticed that this little fella, even though it's a tree frog, even though it's a tree frog, it spends a lot of time actually like underneath the moss or it was when it was in the store it spent a lot of time underneath the dirt now that i have moss in here it spends a lot of time underneath like one of the patches of moss and then it'll come out and it'll kind of climb around and jump around on stuff uh where'd you go okay you're still there um and so and and then it just kind of does its own thing but it's interesting because like like i think about my glass frogs which are also like tree frogs and they like usually stay up high they, they fall asleep underneath the, the 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 leaves um and they just they they're always up there and so for this to be a tree frog and yet like it climbs around it doesn't definitely does tree frog things but it spends a lot of time underneath on the ground underneath the moss uh feeling super secure and i wonder i mean i thought that even with this tree up here that it would find a spot up there uh to hang out but it doesn't it still hangs out underneath the moss so I, i'm interested to see how you know how this is gonna how it, what, what it does when i actually set it up the way i want to i take out this tree and try to figure out something else for it uh but uh yeah i'm gonna just kind of set it up get these things all taken out get the drainage layer put in get the mesh down and get it all set up and then i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like when it's done all right, so I've got it all finished up. It took me a little bit to figure out how I wanted it all done. I did end up finding another plant that I have around my house, and I was like, you know what? I think this could really make this pop. And I put it in, and I think it's gonna. I think it looks just absolutely amazing. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get to show you that here in just a minute. We have the little fella here inside of this. This is yes, this is a dispensary container. Don't worry about it. I did clean it out beforehand. You're fine. Uh, but yeah, I just got him in there for right now. So we. We'll do a release of him in there but first i want to go ahead and flip the camera around and show you what that looks like and then we will release him into his new digs Alright, so we are going to go ahead and release this little, ooh, pop that lid right on off, didn't I? <laughs> Put that up there. See if we can get this little fella to just come out easily. There you go. It's your home. I don't really have anything gloves on, so there we go. There we go. There we go. Whoop. Beep. Nope, 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 none of that, none of that. Let's try to come out the front, sonny. Close this up real quick. Getting a little ambitious. All right. My goodness. Ooh, why are you not closing? Oh, it's locked. All right, there we go. Boom, so he is in there. He is up in his new digs. Look at him. He's super cute. He's an adorable little thing. Now, these guys get up to about uh, from one and a half to three inches. I mean, there have been, of course, the exceptions that can get up to about five, five, five and a half inches. So they're a reasonably larger uh, bodied species of frogs. So uh, I don't know if this is something that he's going to use long term. Oh, my God. I love that he's using his little eyes. I wasn't sure if he'd actually use it. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, but anyway, yeah, so these guys uh, up to uh, one and a half inches, three inches with the, you know, of course, the exception to that rule where they get a little bit bigger than that. So I'm not sure if um, this will be something that works long, long term for him, but it is definitely something that is going to work for now. Um, and, of course, with the size that he is right now. So I think he is he is really going to thrive in it. Um, he's going to do a lot better than being out in our world like he does. Need to be in our wilderness. He doesn't belong here. And we can't ship him back to Cuba 
or the um, <laughs> or any of the the Malaysian uh, wow 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 words or Bahamas or anywhere else. So he's here and he's got a new digs and it looks absolutely amazing and he looks like he's going to thoroughly enjoy this whole setup. I mean, it just, does it not just like give uh, just like a like. A, like a nature vibe like you just kind of walk into the woods with a little fern the fern that's not a fern that thing is so kind it's called some kind of a fern but it's not an actual fern I don't know complicated but I really I think it just adds to everything with the cork bark in the back there it just kind of looks like a tree stump on its own little cork piece down here for a hide and then like a little little pond for him to get into if he wishes um, and then just a nice little tree <laughs> so, you know, I think it looks absolutely amazing. I'm so stoked about it. I'm excited to be able to watch this little fella run around and jump around. I mean, I'm getting to see him a lot more already than I mean any time before. When I put him in the other one, he immediately went and hit. So he's obviously, like, really going to enjoy just exploring this space. He's super cute. And welcome to the family. What should I name this cutie? Y'all got a name suggestion? If you have watched to this point in the video... Go ahead and drop below your name suggestions for this cuteness here. This beautiful little Cuban tree frog. Welcome home, buddy. Welcome home, buddy. <laughs> yeah. He's going to dig it here. I'm digging it. I'm going to enjoy looking at this. Next thing I got to do is get a light for it for these plants. Definitely want to keep these plants thriving. And they're going to do better if they have an actual light on it. Uh, so I'm going to get one of those small lights. I saw we had some newer looking plant lights that I had not seen before. Um, I think they were from Lugardi's at the store. So I might check those out. And uh, if I like it, maybe do a review on it. So yeah, there he is. Mr. Unnamed Cuban Frog in his new digs. You all take care, you love yourselves, love your loved ones, love your reptiles, and you all keep spreading those herbs, but not those invasive species.